Hello, my beautiful souls, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you some money messages. Thank you so much for joining me. Do keep in mind this is general, so just take what resonates. But as well, I want to thank you in advance for liking this video, leaving me a comment or several down below, and of course, subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. And you can expect more money messages coming through and being posted. Anyways, didn't mean to say that. We're going to begin and just keep it simple by pulling from the Guilds of Tarot Real deck. Let's see what we get for you. Money to be saved is what I'm hearing. Money to be saved. Um, okay, 12,000. Uh, 12,000. I feel like that's a goal of yours, but you have some you can expect 12,000 to be um, taken with you. Okay. Uh, when it comes to a big change in the future. Uh, mind on the prize. Eye on the prize. That's what I'm also getting right off the bat. Uh, the wheel of fortune coming out in the center of your reading things moving for you progression taking place money flowing in expect more of an increase in your money uh, intake moving forward I do feel like there's a strength about you that's leading towards more money leading towards a new financial opportunity um, gain what you wish take what you will okay interesting but I do really feel as if there's a power or a passionate way about you and I feel like you're accepting and not accepting the past reflecting your future in any way shape or form accepting and being one with the fact that your financial future is much brighter than what you've dealt with up until this point period period okay you're a gem is now what i'm hearing it's coming out for a reason you're a gem i feel like your talent is leading you towards so much financial success but i do feel like you have to have patience when it comes to making money all right you have to have patience with oneself when working towards building up your savings and paying off certain bills and uh, for some of you um, uh, wiping away debt try not to collect a lot more but i do feel like you are um, much smarter than you used to be when it comes to managing your money when it comes to um, taking money in and putting some away right or taking some and putting the majority away and then treating oneself and or um, your loved ones but I also just feel like you okay have a lavish lifestyle uh, lying ahead for you period all right I do sense that there's a need to balance things out when you think about your money when you're even making money and uh, counting how much you've made or checking your account balance there's an emotional side of you and a very passionate fiery side of you that comes to be or is just present I need to channel both of which in a very simplistic way right there's a reason why you feel emotional when it comes to money as we do have the three of swords I feel like you're thinking often about a past financial investment that fell flat um, let that go okay let it go you did learn and gain a lot as far as experience and knowledge and wisdom but I do feel like you are better at using your intuition and your guidance from spirit to uh, discern and select what is right for you not just what you wish or hope to be right for you okay or was right for somebody else or was glorified all right um i'm not hearing seventy thousand a year but uh the eight of swords coming out because i feel like there is a financial investment where you feel quite trapped and limited uh or it could be a job it could be both um but i do feel like your financial goals are set in mind uh, for some of you it's more so just I want to save a shit ton so I can uh, have the freedom to move to where I want to to travel where I want to to not feel restricted within a job when it doesn't work for me or it just limits me in one way shape or form does that make sense I mean I do feel like some again drawn to this video have a specific financial goal they want to reach exceed to benefit uh, a change or their future in general but I also feel like uh, I'm not hearing retirement fund but I also feel like um, some just are very motivated and making money consistently uh, quite often and therefore just racking up the savings and just um, paying things off nicely as well and just saying, I will just save up as much as I can by this point, knowing there's an inevitable change, all right? Or just setting that timeline in play. The star in reverse, and I feel like you're, again, thinking about a wish that fell flat but at times lacking that hope, okay? Lacking the hope that something's gonna come to be. Um, 
the good will prosper is now what I'm hearing. I feel like your good nature is coming into play and is being uh, viewed as something that people desire to see more, to, to help even. But there's a, a vibe about this reading where your good karma is coming back into play um, or coming to you for the first time for some to give you financial success and comfort, plain and simple, okay? It just feels like your rocky past, uh, you've paid off karmic debt okay or you paid off uh yeah karmic debt i feel the need to say um your connection to the moon will play into your finances somehow there's a passion a fresh start that lies ahead once again and it feels like okay the hands of god or the active spirit however you want to view it is uh at play here okay it's meant to be even if there are certain difficulties that take place i sense that you're overworked and overthink when it comes to money period all right if you're drawn to this reading um, it's just undeniably true. But I also feel like um, you're just needing to heal from all that you've been through when it comes to your finances. And that goes for financial investments and um, when it comes to how you've made your money, other energies, all right? And just the ups and downs of um, things not going exactly as planned. I'm hearing this feels lighter and it really was connected to the the tarot deck it did feel very light i felt like it was missing half the deck but they're saying when making money moving forward it's going to feel lighter okay um there's a need for somebody to put some cash in their account there's also a need for you to recognize that you were meant to be rich all right i'm hearing millionaire in the making millionaire in the making my friend all right your independence will pay off a successful business owner uh, or several have been drawn to this reading cage of limitations are not meant for you now say you pair your business with something part-time or even full-time uh, just to maximize your income um, your intake of money great but I feel as if it's all out of preparation for what lies ahead and to not have to limit oneself or um, be working under somebody in the future all right I do feel like somebody drawn to this reading works a day-to-day -day job or multiple and um, has true aspirations of being a business owner and entrepreneur you will pursue that when the time is right for you you are being drawn to this reading are a millionaire in the making okay period period um, and it feels like the chunks of money acquired up until that point feels so damn rewarding but it's almost as if you know you're meant for more financially lifestyle wise but it, it doesn't feel like you're on the way to it at times but the spirit's saying that's keeping you in perspective right there's no need to get so uh caught up in the overall ending uh financial uh success right of becoming a millionaire and exceeding that um but you know what i'm saying to the point where you don't uh enjoy or feel rewarded or fulfilled by the small successes along the way okay there's a need for you to recognize why something was moving slowly but there's also a reminder to have patience with other energies who move slowly within a work environment okay um or also i just feel like as well you need to have patience um with uh other factors within your finances as far as paying off debt but also being drawn to this reading i feel the need to say you're reminded that you don't need to be moving like the speed of lightning of uh, 24 7 working oneself to the ground in order to see this millionaire status come to be this lavish lifestyle come into play okay you deserve to feel replenished and healthy along the way all right what's meant to be will be period but I do feel like there's this bold, passionate way about you that people feel inspired by. Your voice playing into it all in your own individual way, even if that's through art or your music or something of the sort. You could be a public platform uh, type of individual and um, uh, influencer. But I also feel like you are just uh, meant to be in the public eye. Public, excuse me public eye in one way shape or form even when you're messed with spiritually or slip up on your words uh, don't allow that to get you down or make you doubt that you're meant to be noticed all right they're showing me the six of wands sit back in your throne and manifest what you desire because that is one of your most powerful skill sets all right i do sense that you are someone who is willing to um be a teacher in a lot of ways a leader and that coming to play into play more so moving forward than you can even ever imagine 
but willing to adapt and be a student in smaller other ways. And that balance, that adaptability is part of what's going to lead you to a very successful business or just uh, and or a very successful uh, job career in general, that millionaire status once again. You're going to um, reach the top is now what I'm getting. Keep that motivation alive and hop on your chariot towards what you deserve. It's, in the midst of feeling the need to release oneself from other restrictions, don't hold oneself back as well. That's a big reminder. Even if you can't fully see the future of your independence, your success, and your financial comfort, doesn't mean it's not gonna come to be, okay? Um, try to put your guard down strategically when you intuitively feel it's right for you, all right? Show people what you're made out of, who you're becoming, and all that you're about to achieve. I just feel like a sassiness about your energy at certain points, but it's because you've been through a lot and it's because you know there's more ahead uh, in a positive light as far as success, career change, financial gain, and just proving people wrong as well to a certain extent. There's a level of passion, a passion of fresh start, one after the other, okay? Expect a lot of changes moving forward. Um, and it just feels like because you're meant to be so successful, you're gonna have a lot coming towards you. Your business needing, um, gaining more attention and uh, therefore more money flowing in, right? Expansion is now the word I'm getting. Expansion, okay? Expanding oneself on more than one level as I do feel like connections take a true focus and I even feel like being drawn to this reading. You're meant to be taken care of by somebody um, or you could be someone who is meant to have this financial status success in order to, because uh, you feel the need to or want to take care of somebody else. But I feel like the majority drawn to this reading want to be taken care of by a specific somebody, okay? I do feel like you are meant for a lot of financial success once again. Um, and you're helping nature playing into it all, all right? Once again, being drawn to this reading, you are meant to be a millionaire, all right? So keep that hope alive and move towards what you deserve and keep your dreams in mind, but keep it in perspective all the meanwhile, all right? So I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I am wishing you nothing but the best, sending you so much love and light, and I will see you next time. Bye.